Hello folks, it's Simon from Castle Crush Miniature Painting Studio again, this time with us Indomitus Marines. So the idea was to uh, get as close to the box art uh, for those guys as possible. So as I mentioned previously, we have the uh, flat blue with some uh, edge highlighting, a lot of freehanding, a lot of decals. Uh, everything as the heavy metal team painters would paint it. So let's jump to another one. Uh, I'm not gonna show you every one or maybe every mini in this commission simply because <laughs> they all look the same though they are different models. So as you can see everything is uh, like taken straight from the box let's uh, maybe grab this guy those new intercessors have very dynamic poses i really like them a lot uh, truth to be said this quality level is uh, quite time consuming to achieve so uh, we don't usually do that because uh, it's uh, of course time consuming and uh, as you may imagine quite expensive but the main feature here is that they make great, we can make great, great photos out of those. So <laughs> this is definitely worth a shot. So the next one, uh, the next squad is the uh, Fimet and Super Hot uh, Eradicator squad, which is basically uh, heavy melta uh, or multi melta uh, hell blasters. Let's just put those two aside for a moment and focus on the surgeon first. Uh, as I mentioned before, this was painted to resemble the GW uh, heavy metal standard. Uh, very fine highlights, lots of decals, flat uh, blue with a bit of love in the form of those purity seals for example, or those weapon satchels as you can see. Let's just grab the face. I might go back to the uh, Assault Intercessor Surgeon to show the face but as you can see this is all really high quality paint job. Okay so let me show you those two guys again. We have something written on this seal I hope you can see yeah of course it's ultra <laughs> those are ultramarines so this is perfectly a viable word to write on a seal and again flat blue color some nice highlights and everything painted with GW paints okay and the last one not that different from his brothers really nice packed with detail but not maybe not as packed with the details as the next miniatures we're going to show you which are the new bikes and new veterans. So let me just bring up the bikers. We have trio of old riders here. Uh, so two standard guys and one sergeant, as you can see by the helmet. So let me just put those two aside and we'll focus on the sergeant itself or perhaps himself and just Look at those crisp lines. I mean, this was really exhausting. <laughs> we are all here very worn off <laughs> after working with those miniatures. And this is not just only painting, but all the work that needs to be done along the lines with this commission. But just look at this face. I hope we can catch the focus, yes. I mean, this is pure gold. I wish my marines would look like those. <laughs> but then again, those would be too time consuming to paint my minis after the standard. Okay, so let's grab the other two. Uh, so maybe I will then, then, this time I will show you the 
uh, some sweet details that are not visible at the first sight like this little screen here and this medical work here look how smooth it is let me just grab that focus oh yeah okay we have it and this and this I mean this is all simplistic shadows and very fine edge highlighting okay and the last one is of course the same quality as his brothers so let me just turn him around really quickly for you maybe focus on the helmet itself so you can really appreciate those little details here and there and we are done with the Outriders so we are back with the uh, Ultramarines uh, heavy metal style commission again this time it's the blade guard engines let's start with those two veteran brothers and just appreciate all those details and love put to create this little miniature I mean those are the most packed uh, with the detail sculpts, the g -dubs released last year and you all know this was a strange year but it's good to see how the classic evolved into something so uh, ornate and gothic like this one I mean let's just check his little herald shoot here Check how smooth the white is, and of course the little poor weapon effect. It's purely, purely stunning. Let's jump to another one. So what I can tell you more is that they received a bit of weathering on their uh, robes to resemble some mud, but other than that. They are squeaky clean, as you may see. As one would expect from the poster boys. Okay, let's jump to the um, sergeant, or rather veteran sergeant. And here he is. Let's start with this helmet. Then the herald shield. Some purity seals. Mm, can we catch the focus? Yes, we can. Then the blade. And all else. What's nice to see is that the power ribbon effect is also visible on the shield, as you can see. Now that's a devotion to banking. Am I right? And again, it's squeaky clean. Battle shield. Just wonderful. Along with the Blade Guard Ancients, we have, uh, I mean, the Blade Guard Veterans, we have the uh, famed Blade Guard Ancient, and it will be a moment to show the whole miniature. Let's just start with this distant view. I mean, the standard is just enormous, so. Uh, that's a necessity to show show him to you like this but we'll get to the close-ups in a minute all right so let's start with the banner the derailed the banner from the Indomitus Crusade and just take a look at this purity seals now let's go to the helmet her the shield Mm, too many items. Oh yeah, we have the focus again. Do we? Yeah, we have. All right. And maybe the back view again. All right. So yeah, that's the ancient. In his splendor. Right. 
And that's the HQ. So we have the Judiciar. I'm told that he's the supporting character in this commission. We have the primary lieutenant. We have the new uh, really great chaplain. I can't say how much I love this sculpt. And we have the primary captain. So let's start with the Judiciar. This fellow is really strange sculpt. I'm not exactly sure if I like all those elements visible on this model, but uh, that's up to the sculptors and uh, well, <laughs> it's obviously my taste, but let's take a moment to appreciate all the work put by Rob to really bring those miniatures to life. So let's start with some facial focus. Can we get the focus? Yeah, I think that's the best we can do. All right, so let's just see this little piece here. Can I get my focus, please? Yeah, so we can even see sand flowing through. Then let's just see the cloak. Oh man, this is pure gold. You can you can already tell that it's made from leather. And the overall miniature, the overall effect is just simply amazing. All right. Enough of this one. Let's go to the. Primary lieutenant. We can't get enough of primary lieutenant, can we? So yeah, again, some really nice OSL effects all achieved by brush. Really nice heraldry. And uh, all the detail work is top notch. Again, seems pretty similar to to the plate guard veterans, but as you can see, all those extra extra herald pieces really make him stand out those are really nice scouts all right so perhaps my favorite miniature of the whole commission the primary chaplain another reincarnation of this of this guy and uh, i must say, i must say i have some really big uh, nostalgia waves right now. He reminds me of uh, around, uh, if I'm not uh, mistaken, 206 uh, Chaplin. So let's focus. Face again, state of the art. Those details, the boulder, book. Probably Codex Astartes, <laughs> since he's an ultramarine. All those little details. And the Corosium itself. And again, whole miniature. Just, just the best. And all the, those all are just flat colors really need shadows and precise highlights. So let's jump to the last piece in our commission, which is the, yes, you guessed it, primary captain. With his funny helmet, we chose one of those three options. Uh, the most knightly one, I'd say. Let's just take a moment to appreciate his facial details. If we can, of course, Catch that sweet focus. Can we? Well, this is as close as I can get. But you can see his eyes. You can see the hair of the shield. Again, you've seen it all along on this commission. But this is... Yeah, this was probably the most demanding miniature in the whole part. And Rob did just great. And this little 
Akira, Skeletor Akira, perhaps. Nice OSL. And the detail, G Dabs never painted. The flask that wasn't there. Alright. Overall, really nice miniature. By its own right. So, I'd say that uh, my favorite sculpt would be the Chaplin. Yeah, you guessed it. Simply because how how good he looks. I mean, there's all there, the imposing pose, the uh, connection with the older sculpts, all those new details, crisp paint job, of course. Uh, overall, yeah, this is definitely my favorite. Well, guys, what a blast this was. And, uh, well, uh, we'd like to know if, uh, by your opinion, we achieved the near g perfection in this one. And uh, please tell us uh, how you painted your Indomitius Marines, uh, leaving a comment below. Please don't forget to click the button and subscribe if you'd like to know uh, when we publish our next video. Please consider checking our other social media channels uh, where we also publish our work, most notably Instagram, Facebook and Reddit. Mm, and uh, of course, if you'd like to m know more about us, head to our website customers.eu where our quality levels are available in 360 degrees view and you can see the sample prices for our services. Please remember, if you'd like, to, uh, if you'd like us to paint for you, don't be a stranger and write to us through our contact form on our website or just send an email to office at casabras.eu. Well, thanks for your time and see you all very, very soon. Simon out.